In this tutorial, we're going to look at a special kind of report known as the summary report. Now I have here on the screen the original table of data in our database. And as we look at the second field here, country, we can see we've got multiple records for India. As we scroll down, the countries change. Ceylon, Sri Lanka, Kenya, Tanzania, Java, Georgia, China, etc. A summary report will just have one record for each of these countries instead of currently having a separate record for each product that might be produced by a country. And the way we do this is a little bit different to the other reports that you've come across so far. So first of all, we do however need to create a query. We add the table, but now this is where things are a little bit different. I don't want to add every single field. In fact, if I do, I won't be able to create the summary report. If I look at the question 45 in the June 2008 CAE paper, I'm asked for a report from all the data, in other words, the original table, which we've just done, and shows a summary of only the country, product, and stock fields. Now, it's important that I add these fields and only these fields, but also add them in the correct order. That is, the order in which they're printed in the paper. So when I do my summaries based on the country field, and the calculations are going to be based on the product field, and then the stock field. The next thing we need to do is go up here to the top right in the ribbon and click the totals icon. This adds a new row to our query design area. Now if we look back at the question, we're asked to perform a count on the number of products for each country. So under product, in the totals group by option, I'm going to change that to count. So it should give me a total number of products, or how many products each country has. And each country is only going to be listed once, hence a summary report. It's a summary of the country's products and stocks here, not a list of all the records. Now on the stock field we're asked to calculate the sum of the number of items in stock for each country. Now if we go up and run the query we can see we get quite a different look from our database. Each country that's listed it only occurs once but some of these numbers are quite large. 10,259 different pieces of stock are available for India, for example, and only 83 items of stock for Tanzania, but Tanzania only has two products that they sell, whereas India has a total of 57, so you can understand why their um, total stock is a lot higher. Now we've got to go back to the design view just briefly here, because we're also asked to only show uh, the records where products number more than three. So number more than three means greater than three. So in the product field, in the design area, in the criteria row, I'm just going to type greater than three. Now when we run the query, we can see we've got far fewer countries that have come up. And that's how to do a summary report.